what's going on youtube this is marcus and i am back with another video i hope y'all are doing well i am doing awesome we've made it to the end of 2021 y'all it's december 31st i wanted to come on here and do a end of year video just um talking about some things that i've learned in 2021 um and then i also want to talk about some of my goals and some of the things that i want to accomplish in 2022 now first things first i want y'all to keep my family in prayer once again the COVID has uh struck home uh, my mom tested positive for COVID, and my nephew my four-year-old nephew and his dad they all tested positive for COVID. um but for the most part she's doing okay um so y'all just keep them in prayer this thing is still out here y'all we got to be careful um to be honest i don't even i don't i'm not even sure if this thing is ever going to go away i honestly feel like you know this is something that we just gonna have to get used to we just gonna have to get used to wearing our masks um you know getting our vaccines and our boosters or whatever if, if, if there's anybody that has gotten their booster now i am fully vaccinated but i haven't gotten the booster shot yet if you have gotten the booster leave your comment down below and tell me um how was it was it the same as you know the side effects or whatever was it the same as when you got vaccinated or is it something different um and then also real quick tonight my church will be having a watch night service in person at the church and we will also be uh, doing facebook live so if there's anybody that follows me that maybe your church is not doing watch night service or maybe you want to participate in a watch night service you can follow the way church on facebook.com um, and I will also leave the link to the Facebook page in the description box so that you can click in if you want to click in. Um, and then also next week is our Joy Fest celebration, which is my church's uh, annual conference that we always have at the beginning of the year, starting January 5th, which is a Wednesday through that Sunday, January 8th. And I'm super duper excited because we're doing some things that we have never done before. This is the church is 20 i want to say 21st year doing it um this will be my 14th year being a part of it and we're doing some some awesome things we're doing things on a, on a level that we've never done before we've stretched ourselves on a whole new wavelength to to get this thing to pull it off um we've got some heavy hitters in the kingdom coming and delivering the word of god we've even got a world-renowned gospel artist that is going to be coming and performing um, we also have some some awesome choirs and some awesome groups that's going to be coming and doing a concert. Super duper exciting. And with that being said, the we will be having morning sessions and night sessions. The night sessions will be um, streamed on Facebook Live, but the morning sessions, um, in order for you to be able to attend that, you had to have been registered. Um, and also to gain access to the concert you had to have it registered i do believe you can pay at the door but you, you know most definitely you had to have registered to gain access um and then for the morning session because of those are going to be more intimate um you know teaching sessions where you can really glean from the the, the people that are going to be coming and speaking so super duper excited if you if you follow me on facebook especially you've seen that i've been sharing my pastor and my church's post of, of the flyers and the and the and you know things of that nature so you have seen you know what we got going on so i'm super duper excited y'all this is going to be the first year that i've actually that i will actually be able to attend the whole service because all the years prior usually i've always still had to work um yeah always had to work or didn't have the time to put in so maybe i wouldn't be able to attend the whole week but maybe just that friday saturday and sunday but this year i'll be able to attend the whole week morning and night session so i am super duper 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 excited now so now i want to get into some of the things that i've learned in 2022 
one of the things that I've learned is to seek your validation from God. Get it, get, get, get strengthen your relationship with God so that he can reveal to you who you are in him. A lot of times we, we, we spend so much time trying to seek validation from other people or, you know, seeking validation by what we do, you know, i.e. our job or our careers or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, that doesn't define who you are. God is the one that created you. And so he's the only one that has the authority and the ability to tell you who you are. And the second thing is love yourself. And so those two, for me, go hand in hand because you can't look, you can't truly love yourself if you don't even know who you are. The number, the, the third thing, and that, that's something that I'm still adjusting to, is embrace your brokenness. Every, every area in your life that, where you're broken, whether it's mentally, whether, you know, your heart has been broken, maybe your emotions are all over the place learn to embrace that allow god to to put those pieces back together until you learn to embrace it you'll never be able to get healed from it god wants to heal you he wants to heal every broken every broken part of your life but until you learn to embrace it you you just going to stay broken Another thing that I would say I've learned is stop guess, second guessing yourself, and and that's something that I that I've always struggled with. Sometimes I second guess myself into making decisions, um, decisions that I know I need to make, and because I second guess myself, either I don't make the decision, or either I do make the decision, but then I'm constantly questioning myself: well, did, did I make the right decision? You know, what if this don't work out? What if that don't work out? Stop second guessing yourself. Trust your instincts follow the spirit and trust that you're making the right decision and then my last thing i said was stop overthinking which goes hand in hand to stop second guessing yourself and then pray more or worry less when you prayed about something and you got sought sought direction from god and you know that the decision that you made was a god move then that's just what it is um Another thing I want to say, and this is going to piggyback off of, off of the video that I did about forgiveness. Get free. Free yourself from everything. Forgive, forgive people. I'm not going to harp too much on that because I touched on that in the previous video. But forgive yourself. A lot of people may be struggling with unforgiveness, forgiving yourself. Yes, you made a mistake. Yes, you made a bad choice. Forgive yourself, especially if you didn't already went to God and prayed and got forgiveness from him. For forgive yourself. That's a trick of the enemy that wants to keep you in that, in that, in that, in that, in that place of bondage. But you got the power and authority over him to tell him to go on about, go on about his business so you can truly walk in freedom. Let go of all that past hurt, those disappointments, those failures, those setbacks. Yes, we may have had some failures in the past. We may have had some setbacks. Maybe things didn't work out the way we wanted, to, wanted it to. Take those situations, find the lesson in it, learn from it, and apply it to the next situation. We ain't got time to be to be bottled down in 2022 with stuff from 2021 and years past. You're not you're not going to be able to walk in your per. Well, let me let me let me rephrase that. You're not going to be able to freely walk in your purpose when you're carrying that extra baggage. And here's another thing: it's going to take you a little bit longer to to get to where God wants you to be when you're carrying that extra baggage because because you're not going to be able to move as fast when you're carrying a bunch of weight. So let, free yourself. Now we this is December thirty first. So some of you know there are some things that it may take a little bit more time to to get free from, and not only get free from it, but get healed from it. Because a lot of times you can you can forgive somebody or get over a situation, but those memories and those 
situation they may still haunt you some people still have you know nightmares and stuff about things that have happened to them and get healed if you need to go seek therapy go see a counselor do that don't don't let somebody make you feel like because you're a christian or because you say that you don't need to go to counseling it you know maybe that maybe you know some people their faith level is different maybe they can depend on jesus alone but maybe you might need to go, to go see a therapist or go see a counseling i heard a, a comedian say one time some things take prayer and appeal i think that if we would if people would be more open about their struggles Ment their mental struggles and the mental things the things that they go battle they go through in their mind we would be in a much better and i want to address something while i'm thinking about that because i i the video that i did um talking about speak life and i talked about how i sometimes battle with low self-esteem and low self-image and somebody left a comment and said you don't you don't battle anything what did he, well, I, I erase the comments you know certain sometimes when people leave comments on my videos now i'm the type of person that i do respond to comments um well i i, I read the comments and i do react to the comments you know some comments don't necessarily need a response um and then i you but i usually do try to respond to comments even if the comment may be disagreeing with what i say if you if you say it in a way that's not critical or negative quote unquote then i do still respond and we can you know converse that way but then some people i just be like you know the comments I, but anyway they, they commented and said something to the effect pretty much what i took from it was you ain't you ain't battling with nothing you just need to tell the enemy what he say knock the enemy out and you won't have any problems and it's easier and it's easy for you to say that when if that's not your issue it's easy for you to tell somebody to just get over something when, when what they're saying that they're battling or struggling with is not a struggle for you like for me i've never had an issue with drugs never had an issue with alcohol and so if i come across somebody who is a christian but maybe they still struggle with you know smoking or alcohol it's easy for me to tell them you know just pray and talk to the lord you know take control over your mind take authority over the devil do this do that when it's not my struggle it's easy for me to 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 stay away from drugs and smoking when that's never been my struggle but when you have somebody that's you know deal with battling that it, it it's not as hard for them to just quote unquote kick the enemy out and he'll leave or whatever whatever the person said you you have to be careful and let me also tell you this i i do understand what what the person is saying and where they were coming from but at the same time you have to be careful when you make comments like that because everybody's faith level is not the same now maybe i maybe when i said i battle low self-esteem maybe that was the wrong word um but yes there are some days i do have there are some days i get up and i'm cool and some days i'm just like you know i don't like this and i don't like it and that's why i say it's that's why i say it's a daily thing that's why i get up and i have to do my affirmations and i pray and i read my bible um because it's not any anytime you battle with something in your mind it's not something that you could just get up and be like oh, okay i'm gonna do this and I, and I ain't gonna never have that issue no more it don't work like that you can ask somebody that struck battles with depression i don't care how saved you are how spiritual you are that thing does come but come at you occasionally now as you mature in your faith and as you mature in your relationship with god you learn how to combat it a lot better you don't succumb to it as easy as you may have in the past but it's still a struggle so with that being so i said all that to say that just be when you leave comments like that be careful how you word it and you have to be more considerate of the person and and, and they're struggling what they're going through okay so 
goals for 2022 one of my main goals is always my spirituality getting closer to god i want to have a more consistent prayer and fasting life being more consistent with con my consecration um now i do have a couple apps on my phone which do have like meditations and things like that that i can listen to to help keep my mind focused on spiritual things um also fasting i don't fast as often as i should which that's something that i want to get better at in 2021 and one of the things that my church does the week after our consecration is we go i mean the week after our conference we go on a three-week consecration um prayer you know where we pray and fast and we abstain from certain things and certain activities for three weeks uh, <clears throat> just as a a spiritual spiritual discipline for not only ourselves but also for our church because one thing i can say i can't speak for no other church but i can speak for the way church my church we are on the move god has called us to do some great and mighty things in the earth and in the kingdom and i know that the enemy wants to do everything he can to try to hinder us from 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 doing what god has called us to do and so one of the main focuses of our consecration is not only praying for ourselves but also praying for our church and praying for our pastor um the next thing um i want to work on being more disciplined with money and you know in my job i make good money but i ain't got no money in my savings account let's just be keep it 100 here and so i want to be more disciplined when even when it comes to that when it comes to saving money um not just spending money because i have it to spend you know if you got money to spend put it in your savings account or even looking into investments um you know investing in stock investing in you know bitcoin you know cryptocurrency you know a lot of people have 401ks at their job you know some companies depending on where you work i know amazon they do allow you to purchase stock um you know invest your money in something that's gonna make money in the long run and not just you know spending it you know spending it so you can you know just because you got the money to spend i read a, a quote there's a woman in my church who's a real estate agent and she wrote something to the effect of um pretty much talking about trying to have live this lavish lifestyle that you can't afford to live And she goes in to talk about investing and you know housing and stuff like that and then she says allow your assets focus on your assets now and then allow your assets to pay for your lifestyle in other words you put your money to good use put put, put that seed in the ground and then when you get that harvest then you can use that harvest to buy to buy you those uh material things or those luxury things that you want later i also want to work on my credit increasing my credit store um now i do know that god you know can work miracles he can what he can work around your credit score um to 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 bless you with the things that he said he's going to bless you with, even with my car i know that that was a god move because my credit score wasn't nowhere near good enough to for me to be able to to get that car um but I also believe that if my credit score was a little bit better, my payments wouldn't be as high as it is. Let's just keep it real. Um, but not only that, you want to look good on paper. The Bible says that a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Sometimes, you know, when it comes to maybe buying a house or let's say buying a car, you may have the money. You may be financially, you may be able to afford it but because your name is jacked up because your credit score is low and you got all these accounts on your credit them people ain't gonna want to fool with you so you you want to work on work on having a good name before people um also and with and going going with uh working into that going back into the investments multiple streams of income i do have a nine to five and then i also had you know my my quote unquote my side hustle with youtube um, and I'm still feeling some type of way that they demonetize my channel, but I'm going to hopefully get that straightened out soon. Um, <clears throat> and then the last thing is networking. 
anybody that knows me knows that I am a homebody. I'm an introvert. I like to stay to myself. But I want to break out of my shell this year. Um, it's interesting because from the time that I left McDonald's to the time that I went, that I started at Amazon, it was about two and a half, three weeks. And I remember going over to my grandma's house one day to help her put some uh, the wrapping paper on her door for Christmas. And I remember, you know, when I came to the house, she was like, hey, how you, you know, how you doing or whatever. And I was like, I'm bored. And she was like, you bored? She was like, you go to the, you go to the movies or something. And she was like, you ain't got no friends at church. And I thought about it. And I was like, well, no. I said, because majority of the people that's my age, they married or either, or, you know, they got families and stuff. A lot, all of the single people is younger than me, like in their early 20s, they in college and, you know, or either, you know, just graduated from high school. Like we ain't got nothing to talk about. And so I want to be more open to welcoming new friends, um, welcoming people into my circle. I know it's going to take some time because, you, you know, people is, you know, not who they say they are. But I want to be more open to, you know, new friends, new Christian friends. Let me say that. Um, and then also, I would love to collaborate with some other YouTubers. I still kick myself about the fact that back in, I think it was like 2013, somewhere around there when Candy, uh, when Sweet Addiction TV, The Scorpion Show... Forest Rocks, Ashley Miller, Bondi Blue, all of them when they had that blackout event in Atlanta them two years, I still kick myself that I didn't take the opportunity to go to that um, that event because that was an opportunity to not only expand my my brand, you know, possibly gain new, more subscribers and more viewership, but also it was a way to meet new people. Now, um. But even in that respect, over the years of being on YouTube, I have came across some some awesome people. Now, now mind you, I haven't met none of these people in person, but I've came across some some awesome people. And so, with, like I said, with that being said, in 2022, I would love to collaborate with some other YouTubers. Um, now, what would we collaborate about? You know, that can be discussed. But yeah, I I want to be more more open, more social. Um, in 2022 so anyway y'all that's all I wanted to come in here and talk about I want to thank y'all for tuning in what are some of y'all go or what are some of the things that you've learned in 2021 and what are some of you guys' 2022 goals leave it in the comment section down below um, also be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so and also be sure to click that notification bell and click all so that you'll be notified whenever I post uploads to the channel and the reason why I say click all because I'll be wanting to go live sometimes just to come on here and chat with y'all. But y'all don't, I guess y'all don't get my notification. <laughs> so yeah, click all so that when, you know, when I would, you when, so that you can get my live notification too and not just my regular upload notifications. But anyway, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Peace.